what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about jeepers creepers 5 in this video here again today but before i get into the meat and potatoes of what i want to discuss and share my thoughts on more related to the recent jeepers creepers 5 situation i did a video on before i get into that i want to touch on the cathedral script the movie that would have been our third film the concluding chapter to this series if it hadn't been for of course everything that's centered around who created this franchise unfortunately the fact that they wanted money that the studios i think did not want to give to this person at the time um because of the climate with horror and just what they wanted to do with the film and the budget request and some other things that we know kept cathedral on the back burner we're going to get into who auditioned for the role of Derry jenner jr or just Derry jenner trisha's son who of course got the role i've went over that already and then we'll be talking about justin long's cameo appearance he would have had in cathedral as well so the actors who auditioned for the role of Derry Jenner, Trisha's son, because we know that the third film would have originally been about her trying to protect her son from suffering the same fate that her brother Derry suffered 23 years ago. She's haunted, has these visions, not visions, but dreams of the same thing happening. She's divorced. There's friction between the son, the dad and the mom because of this divorce, etc. So these are the actors. You had Logan Miller who auditioned. Now, Logan Miller, I believe, appeared in Escape Room. So that's a pretty big name on this list to me. Max Lloyd Jones, Ryan Munzert, Charlie Depew, Brendan Carlton, and Lucas Adams. Now, Lucas Adams, of course, is the one who ended up getting the role. I've talked about that several times on my channel. He would have been the one who would have starred as Derry Jenner. There was footage shot with Lucas Adams. Then the auditions actually took place back in 2012. Lucas Adams, of course, at the time, ended up landing the role. These auditions, again, took place in 2012. The brief footage that was shot was because of this need to an order or the order to maintain the California filming incentive. Principal photography had to start by a certain date. So in order to do that, re retain that uh, California filming incentive, they had to start filming by a certain date. One day of filming was paid just to keep that opportunity alive. That's all that happened. And as I mentioned, Lucas Adams was the one who got the role. That's why he was the one that I ended up revealing the photos of on set of him shooting for that one day. So when it comes to Justin Long in his cameo appearance as Derry Jenner, the original Derry Jenner that we met back in the first two films, Justin Long, I believe back on Reddit a few years ago, like over a decade at this point, said that he and the creator had talked about him getting his hands on a cameo. He talked about how the film was having budgeting issues, getting the budget secured, etc. And he revealed on and asked me anything over on Reddit that he would get his hands on a flashback. However, according to a draft that is not online, you won't find this in any of the drafts that are online. So don't go looking for it, nor is it going to make its way online. In one of the drafts that are not online, it looks like Derry's other contributions cameo could have come in the form of a sequence that is in the original draft that is leaked online in which Giselle is talking to Tubbs, warning him about burning the creeper husk. And then you have the cop with the hole in his chest from the original film starts to appear. Other ghosts, apparitions, visions of ghosts, victims of the creeper start to appear, talking about how they are a part of it now. In the draft that is online, though, Derry is absent. In this draft, he appears, labeled Trisha's brother, who says, with the hope someone will burn it, fire will rebirth it. We're part of it now, Sheriff. This is how we know. That is another capacity in which Justin Long could have appeared in Jeepers Creepers Cathedral. What that flashback could have looked like, I have no idea. I also have no idea if the flashback itself was just a placeholder word, and this is, in fact, what Justin Long was talking about. But... This is a retweaking of the one that dropped online because the one online doesn't even mention Derry. Derry would have just appeared in the group of ap apparitions at one point that Tubbs would have seen warning him not to burn the creeper husk. So it would have been very reminiscent of his small appearance in Jeepers Creepers 2. Now we're going to talk about Jeepers Creepers 5. So Jeepers Creepers 5 is currently, allegedly, something that is being worked on and I imagine you will see things pick up depending on what happens with this ongoing lawsuit. This came out of a recent court hearing that happened on June 10th between the ongoing lawsuit that involves Myriad Pictures and Infinity Films, Screen Media, everyone involved with Jeepers Creepers 4. 
The background again states, the case arises out of a dispute over the production and distribution rights to the film franchise Jeepers Creepers. Plaintiff Myriad Pictures alleges it holds the rights of first negotiation and last refusal to the franchise. Plaintiff alleges the defendants produced and released a fourth installment of the film franchise without their knowledge or involvement. Plaintiff also alleges the defendants are currently producing a fifth installment of the film franchise without their knowledge or involvement. Keyword there again, currently. Now see, if they are indeed currently doing that, here's the thing to remember it is not time to get excited it is not time at all to get excited because we have seen what these people have been doing with the ip ever since they got involved with the third film they seem to be interested in producing subpar content that is just enough to attract the common fool and make them money they've done it twice now a third time would be something that anyone who have seen the last two efforts shouldn't doubt that they would do it a third time but the only time i could say this will be anything to get excited about is when we actually find out that they are going to be tackling this from a serious angle they remove certain producers they remove certain creatives that have been at the helm we know that timo Verin solo will not be involved and it's possible that the writer from four could be involved uh he himself has come out and stated that he would have done a trisha film if it were entirely up to him but it wasn't up to him the idea of the fourth film was something that the producers cooked up and he just came in to flesh it out he himself has stated he would have given us a trisha story that's what he would have liked to have done but the producers had a mind had their mind up on what they wanted and so he fleshed out that story in fact i'd go as far as to say with this court document we could end up seeing more information come out about five before this is all settled because right now it just says allegedly currently they're working on it so if they have more court hearings which they do i think their next one is on june 24th none of this is supposed to be resolved until september but leading up to september we could find out a lot about jeepers creepers 5 i'll of course tell you guys about it and we'll see just how deep this rabbit hole goes no point intended out there for my kendrick lamar fans but I will cover this to the best of my ability, as I have always been doing, and will keep you guys updated because I think there is a strong chance that if Jeepers Creepers 5 get, keeps getting brought up throughout the summer leading into what happens in September, we could find out a lot about Jeepers Creepers 5. I think the next step would be providing evidence that they are producing it. And then that evidence could be quite telling of what they plan to do with Jeepers Creepers 5 one way or another. Or at least it'll just continue to give us confirmation that a fifth film is going to happen which they already still have up on their website, those who produced the last one. But we'll just have to wait and see how all this turns out. So hopefully if the fifth film does happen, it is something of quality. It is something that involves creatives that are passionate about horror and have a horror background. And you don't even have to rely on Trisha Jenner. I want people to get Trisha Jenner out of their head for a second and just come to grips with this as your reality. Trisha Jenner being back is not the biggest thing, is not the most important aspect when you look at what we've gotten with these last two movies that's not the most important aspect the most important aspect is doing something that's good if trisha is back in his dog shit who cares if she's back i would rather she stay gone if it's more dog shit just give me more dog shit just don't involve trisha in it what you need to have happen is you can easily leave trisha out you can set it 23 years later you can pick up the way Alistair's story picks up 23 years later, set it on a new group of individuals, and as their story is progressing, you can start involving people we've met in the first two films, and then slowly but surely reveal to us how the creeper escaped the barn, reveal to us where the taggarts are. You know, I think in a lot of ways, starting your film with questions and mystique around how the creeper is back, what happened to the taggarts, and not giving us the answer right away, that should lend itself to a little bit more intrigue into your story, depending on how you execute it, because people are going to be wanting to know well how did he escape old man taggart's barn what happened to old man taggart and his son and if you don't give that to us right away as expected diehard fans would indeed engage with your story if the rest of it is worth engaging with and it doesn't have to involve trisha jenner it can be something that is just truly terrifying brings jonathan breck back is all in the same way the vein of one and two just removing the terrible person who created the ip that's all you have to do that is the most simplest thing you can do for people who believe that IP can thrive without Victor Salva and think it should thrive without him. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Do you think that Jeepers Creepers 5 will end up being another bust? Do you not care? What do you think about those other details I put out about Justin Long 
And those who auditioned for the role of Vera Jenner, obviously losing out to Lucas Adams. Let me know about those thoughts you have on that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification at Nemers video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. 